popular YouTuber Mr. Beast single-handedly with his own personal fund came to Africa and constructed 100 wells. Specifically, he constructed 52 wells in Kenya and not just only that, he also constructed a bridge and also donated hundreds of computers to students for free. And the crazy thing about this is no mainstream media from Africa is talking about this. It's crazy. Well, I am talking about it now. And firstly, I want to give my salute to Mr. Beast, my thanks to Mr. Beast for remembering Africa in this program. And uh, thank you very much. This is a legacy that we will never forget. And also, I do not think you came to Nigeria uh, to construct any well because I don't know why you didn't come. But I'm an Africa, I'm in Nigeria, and you have done it to other neighboring countries in Africa. So I'm really, really grateful. Uh, I will give you my thanks. And please, whenever you have any plans of uh, doing something similar or having any, any other program that will benefit Africa, please try as much as possible to include Nigerians. Nigeria. Nigeria is safe. I know the reason why you might have not wanted to come to Nigeria because of the safety and everything, or maybe of the corruption or, and so many other stuff. Please try as much as possible to include Nigerians in your programs next time. Next time. Thank you very much for contributing. Andre Wells with his personal phone. That is not that's not a uh, small stuff, guys. We have a lot of celebrities here. We have a lot of millionaires here. We have a lot, a lot of well-known, even richer than Mr. Beast, but they can hardly construct even one well in their community. Hardly construct even one well in their community. A YouTuber, a YouTuber, is constructing 100 wells as uh, it's not i've already constructed 100 wells in africa in africa may god continue to bless you mr biggs your youtube will continue to grow grow and grow and grow and grow now let's talk about our society as uh, as africans we have like I, like i was saying we have a lot of uh celebrities here we have a lot of uh, musicians we have a lot of uh, uh, socialites. We have a lot of YouTubers as well. We have a lot of uh, uh, entertainers here as well. Who their main focus is about buying the most expensive cars. Of course, you see them every now and then. If you come to Nigeria media, you see all those uh, content creators. They're always talking about buying the next 150 million Naira car, buying the next 15 million Naira car, 200 something million Naira car. And meanwhile, our celebrities, musicians are busy talking about their gold, huge diamond chain and everything flying private jet. It's good. All those fancy lifestyles are good. But let me be honest with you. None, none, single one of them has done what Mr. Beast, half of what Mr. Beast has done to africa recently 100 wells no of course we usually say oh it's the responsibility of the government and because of the responsibility of the government i'm not saying it's not the responsibility of the it's the responsibility of the government we know that it's the responsibility of the government and they are looting the money but what have you done do not look at the government to try to contribute to your people do not see a bad road that you know you are fit enough to contribute that and you say, oh, it's the responsibility of the government. It's not mine. It's, uh, I would not do it. No, do it. It's, it's, it's your own blessings. But no, they're busy uh, doing the, B, the, the BBL for the ladies, uh, advertising uh, the use of charms to hypnotize rich men, you know, advertising, uh, smokes, and all, just different immorality. But a foreigner came to Africa and did this. A foreigner came to Africa and did this. Check your environment very well. Be you, if you are from Ghana, from Kenya, from Sierra Leone, from uh, 
South Africa, from Nigeria, from Liberia, anywhere. Just check your environment. Check your celebrity and see what they are focusing on. Check them. Just check their focuses. Check what they are focusing on. They are focusing on so many things that affect them directly. They don't care about you. That is the whole society. Thank you, Mr. Biggs, uh, once more for coming down to Nigeria, for doing, uh, coming down to Africa to do this. We really, really appreciate you. Really, really appreciate you. Andre Wells, computers and a bridge. Come on, man. What else? What else? And no mainstream media is talking about it. No. Well, we're going to amplify it because the news has got into Nigeria. And you know, Nigeria is the hub of entertainment in Africa. So we're going to amplify this news and they use it, use it to set examples to our rich content creators and our rich celebrities out there and the musicians, all of them. And the crazy thing about all this is that Mr. Beast is facing a lot of criticism from Africans, majorly from Africans. <laughs> you see the irony about life. Mr. Breed provided Andre Wells and is facing a lot of criticism, majorly from Africans. And Mr. Beast even said he's going to get cancelled. This was a statement. They said, Mr. Beast says he is going is going to get cancelled after providing 100 wells across Africa in this latest video in hopes of getting fresh water for those without access. I don't know what in Africa, in Africa, for a community, some community to get fresh water, they will walk, trek for miles, miles to get water. Just imagine trekking for more than two hours or three hours just to get water, then come back. So we go, go to this stream, very, very dirty stream to get water. Water that looks, the color is brown, they will be drinking it. Yes, yes, yes a human being, a foreigner who decided to provide. Then you're gonna hack as if Mr. Beast didn't try. And you're going to talk about slave trade, Oh, you guys were the one that brought all this problem before. All those kind of yeah, yeah, nonsense sentiment. Mr. Beast, thank you very much, and uh, thank you. I'm among those Niger uh, among those Africa that is really, really grateful, and thank you for country for your contribution. And please, whenever you are coming back to contribute more, do not get discouraged. Please look at Nigeria. Please, please, ah, uh, I mean. Please. Hmm? So let's uh, move past that. Let's talk about uh, some of our celebrities before ending this video. That is Bono Boy and uh, Whiskey. We were discussing about Bono Boy yesterday, and uh, we talked about him unable to sell out a BMO stadium that they were empty seats. Most especially Whiskey fans were coming for Bono Boy, not criticizing him over and over again. But uh, Yesterday, I came across a video from another view, another view from the stage. And of course, guys, seeing this video, of course, you can see some of the seats were mostly occupied. Maybe the video that was taken previously was when Bonoboy started performing and people weren't, haven't really, really come in. But this video here, look packed though honestly it looked packed honestly this video looked really really packed so maybe it's like uh, 90 percent almost sold out 90 percent almost sold out you know i am not the kind of person that will just criticize you know i have to look in between and if there are or any other proof most definitely I'm gonna bring it to you guys and Looking at this video, judging by it, I will say the venue was 90% filled. 90% filled, not super full, but 90% filled. So is we can still regard it as a successful and sold out venue. Yeah, we can still regard it as as that, guys. We can still 
with God. So all the people blast him. In fact, someone said they can only cry. They are sad. Bonoboy is living whiskey dream. David, though himself, no fit even dream that kind of dream. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> then uh, whiskey is starving his fans. Some of his fans were quarreling, worried, like the someone wrote him and and uh, and the person said, "Alpha, drop song now." Abi Ogun, they kill you. <laughs> so I wrote him, he said, Alpha, drop song now. Abi Ogun, they kill you. Then he said, Your papa day holiday. Make I enjoy. Well, don't burn yourself out. You don't walk and walk and walk and walk without chilling. Whiskey is chilling yeah, currently. Lagos and uh, to all the way to Ghana, but specifically in Lagos, though, enjoying himself, enjoying himself well. It's good to enjoy yourself, not walk, 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 walk. Relax yourself. Don't even think about going to the studio, going to anything. Just chill and focus on the next step. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, again, thank you to Mr. Beast for providing uh, uh, sources of water for many communities in Africa. We really appreciate you. Thanks.